living that life. We just living that life. You're listening to the Living That Life Digital Nomad Podcast. Hit the subscribe button on iTunes if you're a boss. And check out the YouTube channel for dope travel videos. Let's get it. Oh, wait till you guys see this view right here. Woo! Welcome back to Ho Chi Minh City, a.k.a. Saigon. V et Nam and whew. so today I got my buddy A A A Ron McGinley here. So he has still been in Bali. You saw Aaron from the Bali vlogs, the ten plus vlogs from Bali. He came down to Bali for that trip. I actually met this kid at the Nomad Summit, Chiang Mai, January 2018, which is happening again, January 2019 in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So hope to meet some of you there and maybe you'll meet some friends. Like I met Aaron and I was like, yeah, I'm going to Bali. And Aaron's like, yeah, let's fucking go. And uh, I came back to Bangkok, he stayed there, but he happened to have to do a visa run for uh, this same week as I had to do one. So I came to Saigon and so he met me in Saigon and now we're doing some videos. Yeah. So before I get to picking his brain, I want to give you guys a recap of what we talked about in our last quick little interview with Aaron on my channel, which is about how he is teaching English online, totally online to be able to stay out here in Southeast Asia. So if you want to know more about that, link in the description to our previous interview about the details of te teaching English online, how much money you can make. Basically, it's uh, $20, it can be $20 an hour, right? Yeah. You can do, you can do teaching English $20 an hour in the uh, company or program, whatever that he does it is VIP kid. Still the same? That's right. And it's like an app and you schedule basically tutoring sessions with Chinese kids and you can make up to $20 an hour. And he does that like three hours a day and that's his base income. And that is enough to stay out here in a place like Bali or Chiang Mai or Southeast Asia. While on the side, you have all those other hours of the day, you can work on other entrepreneurial solopreneur internet projects so that's what he's doing one of them happens to be starting a vlog so he's been out based out in Southeast Asia for over a year now uh, six months yeah six months now and I'm actually holding his camera I'm holding his brand new G7X Mark II but uh, I'm borrowing it for this interview because my G7X went it went in the water in Bali but I'm gonna get a new camera soon but um, yes, so I wanted to introduce you guys, and well, you, you might, some of you may already know Aaron, but you may not know that he's starting his own vlog, and I like to say he's on his way to being a living that life protege, another fair skinned and fair haired kid. So yeah, tell so his his videos they they're coming soon, they're coming soon. And check the link in the description because he's doing vlogs, and he's you know he's bouncing around Southeast Asia. It's like why not why not do vlogs? So Aaron, uh, yeah, what's good? Tell everyone, um, yeah, how how you first made it out to Southeast Asia for people that they don't know. Yeah, sick man. Um, so I, my story is I've been traveling outside of my home country, which is the U.S. for. A little over or about a year now about a year and I was working a corporate job working nine to five working more than nine to five I was working 60 70 hours and just okay he was doing four years of uh, commercial real estate in Chicago yeah that's right yeah that's right so I was working in private equity high finance uh, lots of hours stressful environment and decided that instead of pouring my time and effort into building someone else's business, why not 
give a shot at entrepreneur and try to build my own business. So that's what I've been doing. Give a shot at entrepreneur. I'm going to do the entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Go entrepreneur. Give it a shot. So basically, since Riley, like Riley said, I've been teaching English online just to have a base income, which is super easy to do. Uh, like he said, I work three hours a day. I work like seven to ten p.m. five days a week, and bringing in like two grand, two thousand bucks a month doing yeah. that, and that's. Yeah. That is more than enough. You can swing it and sell to, Asia to sure. live off of out here. So I'm li I'm currently based in Bali, in Changu, Bali, and for example, my my rent is two hundred and fifty dollars per month. Mm. Uh, Not bad. Your average meal is I don't know three to five dollars per meal. Yeah, local meal you're talking a dollar fifty two dollars. Western meals you're talking. Four, five, six. Yeah, these are like sit down restaurants. Like I go out to eat every single meal. Uh, so it's so cheap, right? So I'm living on easily less than a thousand bucks, probably, you know, maybe even close to 750 bucks. Wow. Um, in Bali. And yes, and then I have, I wake up and I have 8 a.m., you know, to 6 p.m., literally to work on my own projects. Mm -hmm. And like Riley said, I've been. Working on building my own business, and I have a couple different things going, but the one that is starting to gain traction is selling on Amazon. Big day! <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. So today he got a message from his Chinese supplier with the UPS tracking number, and they are sending him his prototype product. And so he told Aaron actually reached out to me like around the Nomad Summit, January 2018, and he was like, yo, I wanna get into Amazon, will you help me? And then I'm like, I'm basically like, all right, like what do you wanna do in exchange? So he's been helping me a little bit with my course and helping me with some other stuff. I've been helping him on some product ideas and product advising, coming up with this idea. And in Chiang Mai for probably like a month, we were working in cafes side by side mm -hmm. and he was doing product research and he was combing through Amazon. He's like, bro, what do you think about this? I'm like, keep going. Yeah. Bro, what do you think about this? I'm like, bro, keep going. And that was probably for like a good three, four weeks. And then he came to this next product and he's like, dude, what do you think about this? Like there's this and there's this, but there's not this. Why is there this? And so I was like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. And then, um, yeah, we, we went to Bali from there and same thing. We were working side by side in Starbucks and also at Dojo Changu. And he was like, yeah, dude, I think I can do this. I can do this. I was like, hmm, it's an interesting idea. As we were talking about kind of making a custom product, I was like, dude, you should reach out to Derek Pankow, who who spoke, uh, who's my good friend from early, the early 2014, 2015 Chiang Mai days. Entrepreneur Beast spoke at the Nomad Summit this past year, 2018. He created his own product called the Flexor, the travel pull-up bar, and it's like making a million bucks. I'm like, dude, you should reach out to Derek. Yeah, that's right. Five seconds later, Derek walks into the hotel <laughs> lobby that yeah. we were at in Changu. I was like, <laughs> and so it was kind of, it yeah, was kind of meant to be dude. serendipitous yeah. and. So he's been chatting with Derek a little bit about the process of creating like an original design product. Anyways, Aaron went with this idea, this original design, and I was like, yeah man, just make some crude drawings and PowerPoints with like arrows and like image mashups and see if the supplier can do it. And I guess you, you reached out to a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of suppliers and one of them said, okay, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And they have the prototype, he has photos of it and it's a working prototype, and he just got a tracking number today. It's coming It's coming to your house in Bali. Yeah, man, today's a big day. So I'm super excited about that, and yeah, one piece of advice for entrepreneurship is, uh, you know, no one, no successful person did it on their own. You always need people, so you have to surround yourself with successful people, or find people to help you on your journey, and so I highly recommend that. Link up with someone, link up with Riley, link up with people you know, uh, yeah. to help you on your journey because you're gonna have questions and people that have been there can help you answer those questions and it just expedites the process. Yeah, figure so. out who's done it before and 
what they did and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One on one reach out. ABCs. Reach out to me, you know. Um, and yeah, so it's exciting. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, it's been a process, but just to give a little timeline or give a little color yeah, on yeah, timeline. What is the timeline? On yeah, that? what I've been working on. So basically, I launched. I, I had the idea at the beginning of the year that I want to create a physical product and try to sell it online. I did, you know, a month, maybe two months solid of product research, coming up with ideas, doing market research, checking, uh, you know, search online search volumes on Google and e-commerce sites, trying to estimate demand for something. Yep. Call it uh, mid. March, um, I nailed down a uh, original design of what I wanted to get done. Started reaching out to suppliers, uh, mainly in China through Alibaba, and by by early April, I had one or two suppliers that were interested and liked my idea, and it was great because some were not interested, some just didn't get it, and other ones were enthusiastic about it. So I was like, okay. It's a no-brainer who you want to work with. You want to have people on your team that support you, believe in what you're doing, and are excited to work with you. So early, early um, April, I, I was in contact with one supplier that I wanted to work with. And we traded, they had an engineering team. I had my own product designer that I was paying that I, I found through Freelancer. Oh, right. Um, we were trading designs, engineering designs, we were trading CAD files uh, to nail down the prototype. And by the end of April, they had what their engineering team thought was a successful model. Mm. I placed the order for the prototype at the end of April. Mm. It took them four weeks to do. They 3D printed it mm. to create the, the physical product. And now it's beginning of June, so basically, very end of May, they have a, a ready-made prototype mm -hmm. for me, and they're gonna be sending it to me in Bali, to yeah. a co-working space is where I'm gonna receive it uh, next week. So, and then from yeah. there, I'll just do one more piece of information from there. The strategy I'm gonna be doing is a fun is a fundraising campaign on mm -hmm. on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and this is really where Derek comes in. Shout yeah. out to Derek. You yeah, can he, find he crushed it. Find more information about him. He has his own website, and he's public guy. Talks, give talk, gives talks about entrepreneurship and Kickstarter. And he's actually coming out with a Kickstarter course either this week or next week. Great. I just had lunch with him, which is going to be an A to Z. How do you launch a product and fundraise successfully on Kickstarter? Nice. And he, like you said, he did a really good job with Flexer. He raised, you know. I think on Kickstarter it was like a two hundred thousand dollar fundraise. Wow! So really successful, and he is what I'd consider, you know, an authority, an expert in that space. So if you can, you know, get a link through Riley, check out Derek's course on Kickstarter when that's available. Cool. Um, and that's where we're at. So the rest of the summer, I'm going to be continuing to teach English part time, based in Bali. Going to be traveling all around Asia. I just started this vlog, which is awesome. Yeah, why not? Uh, link to my channel. So June fifteenth is when I'm launching my channel. Okay. I've already got, you know, four or five videos ready to drop. Uh, I got some sick travel plans: Ho Chi Minh this week, Singapore next week, Jakarta at the end of the month. Um, hopefully Philippines next month. You know, some yeah, other sweet yeah. stuff. So that'll be cool. Heck yeah. And yeah, man, just loving life, loving doing my, you know, my own thing. I wake up every day so excited to just work on it. Aww. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. Uh, it's all about, like, you, you know, in today's day and age, you should not be working, you know, you should love what you're doing because there's, you're able to make things happen. You're able to work for yourself. You're able to, you know, there's so many options for it's, you. To be an entrepreneur. Exactly. That's the the dream. Oh, I'll take that out yeah. of your hand. The dream, of course, is to be able to do what you love. That's the dream, and we are kind of blessed and lucky to be over that hump of leaving your job after you really want to leave your job, like we both did. So, it, I know it takes a lot of trial and error to get to this point, 
but I guess we're just saying hopefully maybe this video will give someone that little extra kick in the back to go for it because we're just sharing our story that hey we're just regular guys we're not you know we're not Harvard graduate programming or tech geniuses we're just regular college bros from Seattle and Portland <laughs> yeah that's right and um so yeah just kind of kind of to recap what he's what the physical product method that he's doing is different than what I'm doing uh, is my Amazon uh, business is buying uh, buying a bunch in wholesale and selling it on Amazon whereas the Kickstarter method if you want to get a completely new redesigned product in order to get like a new mass production mold made in China is going to cost like upwards of ten thousand dollars so if you're wondering why don't you just have one made and throw it on Amazon and see if it sells it's because of that huge upstart cost to create a brand new product in bulk, even if it was just 100, 100 units or something. So that's why if you have an original design, you test it on Kickstarter. You get one working prototype, you do an awesome product video, and then you advertise that around Facebook and Instagram, like you see all these videos around mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram for product campaigns. So that's the method that he's yeah. doing, and that's the method that Derek has done successfully, and he got in contact. So yeah, that's the Kickstarter method, and if the Kickstarter is successful, let's say you raise 20 grand or something, then you go, okay, concept proven. Let's take that 20 grand, put it into, now we're gonna develop the product and give it out to everyone who ordered yeah. it. So that's a kind of breakdown for those people yeah. who don't know. And, and shameless, shameless plug, uh, if you wanna follow me throughout okay, the okay, summer. Okay, 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 let me plug. <laughs> Dude, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> I got you bro, no. I was just gonna say, I'm just playing. I'm releasing more No, so, um, so, okay, 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 so he, all right, yeah, let me tell you what's going on with his channel. He, it's a long time coming. He's been bouncing around Southeast Asia. He invested in this camera. He actually got a GoPro and then that broke and then got this freaking $700 G7X. <laughs> so, yes, go watch his videos, his first handful of videos that he's dropping. I know when I started vlogging, I was like holding the camera like this, like my head was at the bottom of the screen and it was just like all wobbly. You can see my early Ho Chi Minh videos, but uh, yeah, go watch. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, give him some constructive criticism in the comments. If you if you really like it, share it. But anyways, yeah, help a yeah. homie out. I know how hard it is getting to your first 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, so yeah. Give him some feedback and show our brother some love. Yeah. And and on the Kickstarter front, um, you know the Kickstarter campaign is going to be a public campaign and um, going to be releasing information about that. So if you're interested in the Kickstarter entrepreneurial route, you know I am a he's know, doing test it. dummy. Yeah, he's a test dummy for launching a Kickstarter campaign. So yep, yep, yep. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to his channel. He's going to be talking about Kickstarter. He's going to be talking, follow his journey. You know, it's just another story. Let's say you can relate to Aaron. It's just another story. We're just sharing what's possible out here in beautiful Ho Chi Minh City. So yeah, links below. Follow Aaron on Instagram. He's he's doing it well on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Yeah, Instagram, Aaron's Travels. Aaron's Travels. Aaron's travels. Uh, yeah, that's probably, that's the best place to follow me now because I don't have, I haven't set up the YouTube yet. But yeah, it's all about, it's, it's less about me and more about, you know, sharing with the world and connecting with people. So, you know, I'm more interested in connecting with you, reach out to me than, you know, like a, a, a yeah, you know, a follower relationship. Yeah. Like, let's connect. Let's connect. Let's so connect, bro. Yeah. Yo, let's Hit link up. Hit me up on LinkedIn. We're not on LinkedIn. Uh, maybe we are. <laughs> Anyways, guys, approaching 20 minute quick little interview. We are at the top of Ho Chi Minh Sertai. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for the camera borrow, Aaron. Oh. Links in the description and uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram. We're all over the world. We ain't stopping anytime soon. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us yeah. up. Until next time. Peace.